happens by Jesus to do what I'm doing. It's all, and I keep it all lawful and legal. I come in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. Any, anybody, anybody resisting, can goddamn my ass kiss it. My high and lofty motherfucker, I'm the inhabitant of eternity. Oh, that's from the Lord. That's from the Lord. And blessing the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. To all my babies who believe in Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. So, the current uh, crop of presidential candidates, is there anybody even running that represents something that we're talking about here? No, all of them are New World people. Songus, in, in, his, in his book, he, even uh, everything that he, he's written touts the New World Order. All of it, right for Songus's literature. They, they, You're going to see New World Order, New World Order, New World Order, New World Order. Clinton, the governor of Georgia, was selected in 1991 well, by the Arkansas. Bilderberg, or, excuse me, gov governor of uh, Arkansas, was selected in uh, 1991 by the Bilderberg Group in Baden-Baden, Germany, to be the new president of the United States. Remember what happened to Gary Hart? What did he do? He went out on a boat with a woman who wasn't his wife, and he was destroyed. Look at Clinton. What's happened to him? Nothing. The press is on his side. They're helping the guy. You know why? Because he was chosen by the people who own the press to be the next president of the United States. Now, I don't know if he will be or not. That's up to the American people. Mm -hmm. But if they get their way, he will be. Bush? Bush is one of the most heinous criminals that's ever walked on the face of the earth. Bush is the man who's been a CIA agent since his college days. He's a member of the Skull and Bones, the Russell Trust. He was initiated in a, in a casket with a ribbon tied around his genitalia, which, which symbolizes that he's a priest in the Temple of Isis. A pagan, this guy. This man is a member of the mystery schools. Well, he has the outward appearance of a good uh, Christian, church-going Christian, no? They do whatever they have to to be approved by the people, but in secret, they're not at all. This is a man who practices pagan religious rituals, magic. Doesn't matter what you think of all these things. I'm just telling you, this is what he does in secret. Mm -hmm. He is the man who, when he was chief executive officer when he was president of the offshore division of Zapata Oil, organized and began the first large-scale drug smuggling operations into this country. George Bush is the one responsible for the drugs on the streets. And the war against drugs is not a war against drugs, it's a war against the Bill of Rights. And we've already lost the Fourth Amendment in this war. That's true. And we're going to lose everything else. You watch on, it amazes me, people watch on Saturday night Cops, top cops, tough cops, 911. All of these stories that are glorifying the police state and they're falling right into the manipulation as they watch police with no search warrant, with no court order, break down people's doors, tear out their walls, rip open their mattresses. All in the name of the war on drugs. Pretty sneaky. It's pretty sneaky, all right. You see them stop people in the streets. And the guy's got $400 in his pocket. They don't press, press any charges. They didn't even have any reasonable suspicion to stop the person and search him. And what do they do? They take their money. And they don't give it back. And America's watching this. And the stupid idiots, yes you, you, <laughs> stupid idiots, you sit there and watch it, not realizing that when you take away that man's freedom, you've also taken away your own. You see, because they can do the same thing to you. Just because you talk a way that they don't like you talking, or because you wear red shoes and they don't like red shoes, they can do the same thing to you. And under the new law, without a court order, without a search warrant, they can break down your door, they can rip open your mattresses, your couches, your walls, they can trash your house. All in the name of the war on drugs. And let's say they don't like the color of your shoes. All they have to do is drop a little pouch of cocaine in your living room behind your couch and find it and say aha you're a drug dealer what happens then now they can confiscate your house all your possessions all your property all your bank accounts all your cars boats vacation cottages whatever you have and they can auction it off within 24 hours without ever even pressing charges against you without a court order without due process without just conf uh, compensation and there's not a damn thing 
that you can do about it. Not a damn thing. At least right now. At least right now. And the reason you can't do a damn thing about it is because you're the one who brought it about through your stupidity. You're mentally crippled. You're operating from a position of ignorance, apathy, abdication, irresponsibility. And we're losing our country, our freedoms, everything. Now these are these are strong accusations of the American public. What what do you hope to accomplish by angering the very audience that you want to watch and listen to you? Go prove me wrong. Go make me the idiot. In so doing, you're going to find out what the truth is, and maybe you'll wake your <laughs> up. <laughs> and if you do, maybe we can save our country. Because I don't really care at this point whether you get mad at me or not. My country's disappearing. My freedoms are disappearing. My daughter's going to live as a slave in the new world order if you people don't wake up and help me. So if I had a two-by-four, literally, I would smack you upside the head with it. I don't care if you get mad at me. It's beyond that state. You know, I'm willing to put my life on the line. Why would I care if you get mad at me? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, people say, well, don't you feel threatened? Don't you feel like your life is in danger? Are you kidding? You're the people who sent your sons and daughters to fight an, an illegal, immoral, unjustified war in the Middle East? And that didn't bother you a bit that they might have got killed over there and you're worried that I might get 